This is a video featuring Faces Canada Ultimate Pro Belle de Luxe Dual Cup Lipstick. Quite a long name, I must say. Hi, I'm a partner Ganesh, and I welcome you to Joy Geeks, a channel where I create beauty and wellness videos. And I really enjoy, uh, you know, lipstick swatches, and all of you do too. It is a swatch party here. There's a whole playlist called Lipstick Swatches in my uh, YouTube page. If you look at it, and if you like this kind of content, definitely. hit the like button because that is communicating something to me i have all 15 shades of the faces canada ultim pro belle de luxe jewel lipstick they did launch a year ago but i was waiting to also try it out on during winters and see really how i feel about it and i have my thoughts is it really worth the price uh is it really as good and swanky as the packaging looks from the outside what is most important is the formula i'm going to take you through all of that quickly stay tuned So this is lipstick which was launched a year ago and I have managed to get all 15 shades. I will tell you what I think exactly about it. Let me first start off with packaging. This is the outer box and it is looking pretty smart and this wonderful velvet pouch comes out of it. From that emerges this wonderful lipstick bullet which is gold which has this unique diamond looking cut and then when you open it up you can see the actual bullet also really looking stunning i have nothing like this i think it's very exclusive if you look really close they even have the f embossed here they have faces canada written here they have the f embossed and i really want you to look at the shape of there are many cuts it's really like a diamond cut even on the outside and on the bullet i think it makes this lipstick super unique just with the shape my only issue being that the packaging does not have a color sample the shade sample on the outer case which is a bummer for me because it is impossible to figure out you know and i don't have so much time to open each lipstick so i feel that that is something that all lipstick companies really need to look at for it to be user friendly it's the packaging have a clear color code given on the extremely outer box of the lipstick but i'm not going to hold that you know once i start using the lipstick so that is a big minus point for me so the cost of this is 899 i think it's pretty pretty steep that's 900 bucks but i got it at 50% off so that was 450 and that was a steal for sure and the good thing is faces very often has one with one free kind of uh, deals it has 30 40 50% off so i think uh, that is a good time you should you know look at all their uh, products so that you feel happier using those they do claim that it lasts for 8 hours they do claim that it uh, doubles up as a lip liner and that it is enriched with pure rose extract we'll see about all of that as we go through the lipstick before i forget there is a giveaway i am going to give away two of these beautiful lipsticks uh 01 and 20 i will be very happy to share this please do check the description box for more details i do have my allergic cold right now but uh, i really wanted to do this video around december new year once i just checked it uh, for winters so my voice may be a little nasal just please roll along with it talking about the formula i definitely think it is a makkhan like application it is one swipe you can see the pigmentation pretty strong and i do feel creamy on the lips and it is matte on the outside i love that the finish is matte it's not satin or uh, velvet matte or creamy matte none of those it's actually a pure matte but it doesn't dry my lip out they haven't said anything about the transfer proof but i think uh, after a little time definitely it's transfer proof But I want to check. This is my Nadiel Pari. I want to have it and check. Oh, it has come on uh, on the um, glass, but I think it's because it's freshly applied. Because when I've uh, tested it out after, a, I guess maybe after at least fifteen twenty minutes or half an hour, when it settles, it may not transfer as much. You know, talking about the long-lasting power, if you eat. it pretty much comes off i wouldn't say it's just little from the inside no it pretty much comes off you have to reapply uh and i would say it is long lasting but not super long lasting maybe 4 hours 
I think four hours should be a good time. But the good thing is that it doesn't dry the lips out. I do like the pigmentation on this. It is makan like application, but I wish that the pigmentation was a little more. Uh, I will tell you if I think it's worth it or no by the end of it once I've swatched all the shades because for testing I've tried a few shades, but I want to see all the shades and really see the consistency of the formula and all of that. I'm doing the lip swatches with barely any. I wouldn't say no makeup. I do have a little foundation, just a little concealer, eyebrows, and little mascara. It's pretty much bare, and uh, I hope you like it because you folks did tell me that you like it when there's not too much makeup, also. So I hope you enjoy the swatches. Let's begin. Doubles up as a lip liner? Nope, not at all. I don't think you can use this as a lip liner. In fact, even though I love the different shape of the lipstick, I think you need a lip liner to get the correct, you know, application going for you. Regal Flare is a nice popping orange shade. I quite like it. It is bright, of course, but when you want a bright lipstick. This would be very, very nice. Poison Ivy is looking nice like this, but I think it may be a little tricky because I feel that even though I've applied quite a few, you know, um, layers of it, I feel that there may be some, you know, light and dark looking patches on my lips. This is definitely one of my favorite shades. It's Charlotte Nude. And I really like how it is, you know, anybody could wear this. I think for a darker skin tone, if you're darker than me, maybe this is not going to show up. But otherwise, I just love this. Beautiful, beautiful shade. Definitely, this is an everyday, easygoing shade. It's Victorian Mauve. I love this. Do not forget to hit subscribe button if you've enjoyed it so far. We we are almost you know like halfway through the video. Uh, do not forget to hit subscribe and if you like it, please do hit the like button. It means the world to me and I can't thank you enough for subscribing. All those who have already subscribed, it really makes a huge difference to me. For the girls who like to wear some different shade, you will like this. This is a deep mauve, almost purplish in color. I generally prefer the more normal shades, the reds, the pinks, the maroons, the browns, the nudes. I'm very happy when brands do those, but I know a lot of you do want something different. This is a unique shade. It has a little um, muted purple shade is what I'd say. So I, actually, this is also wearable. Blended Iris has got to be my most favorite in all the shades because it is an everyday pink. At the same time, it's a little bold. It's a little uh, uh, everyday wear. I just absolutely love this. It's pigmented. It's strong. I think this is going to suit across all skin tones. So if there is one shade, if you ask me, uh, I am yet to swatch two more, but um, I know what they are, and uh, uh, there are a lot of favorites. But this one definitely is the most favorite. I love Noble Garnet. It's this beautiful dark brown maroon shade that would suit across all skin tones, especially for my skin tone. I think I, I really like these kind of dark shades. I just love the shade 22. 
it's a beautiful dark brown with a red tint uh i love browns if you are a brown lover you would love this i would say um having swatched all the shades the consistency of the formula is pretty much uh good some shades i felt that uh you know i had to swipe a little more but i think still it works the shades would be i would say regular shades nothing out of the blue but i like these kind of uh, regular shades because then it's more wearable do we really need more lipsticks we all have you you have a lot of lipstick yourself when you're watching this you know of course i have a lot of lipstick as well but um do we need more no do we want more yes of course we do and um, i like to have a whole bunch of different looking lipsticks uh, uh you know in my drawer i feel that overall if you still ask me if 900 is uh, worth it i would have thought that they could have priced it a wee bit less but i guess they priced it for the packaging and if you want something really unique in your vanity it is worth it to go for this however i would suggest you to be a little patient and wait for the sales and get this then and then i think it's a fabulous deal i hope you like this review and do let me know which are your favorite shades do not forget to check out the giveaway in the description box i am more than happy to share with you lipsticks that i really love and i have been sharing a few of the lipsticks that have disappointed me i have started doing that on the channel thanks to all of you who have asked me for it i hope all of you are having a great time have a fabulous 2021 i am very excited to you know get your thoughts on these lipsticks comment below with your favorite shades and um, yeah i'll see you soon take care bye